Hey guys, Chris at Masingo's Motor Company here today. And uh, I'm working here late in the shop tonight and I thought I'd talk to you tonight about a uh, technology that really should have worked, but unfortunately it, it doesn't quite. So in 1981, Cadillac came out with the, the V864, which is a V8 engine that could run on eight cylinders, six cylinders, or four cylinders, depending on engine load. It was fuel injected, it was had a computer processor, Unfortunately, they didn't have really good control of the ignition system, so it didn't work, and in 1982, that was canceled. In the early 2000s, right around 2005, 2007, Chevrolet came out with what it calls active fuel management. So they had a modern fuel injection system, a cool-on plug ignition system, and a high-speed powertrain control module that could synchronize everything, and they could make it work. And they were able, through the high-pressure direct fuel injection system and control of the individual ignition coils, they were able to drop four cylinders out of operation while the vehicle was at highway speeds. So with that in mind, has GM actually finally achieved the ability to use a 7,000-pound SUV carrying eight passengers at 65 miles per hour and still achieve 24 miles per gallon? Almost. Electronically, it worked really well. In fact, the technology is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, mechanically, it doesn't really work that well. This is a standard lifter. So this is what actuates the valves. So if you cut the fuel and the spark off to a cylinder, then you still have to account for the pumping losses of that cylinder, and it still has to be lubricated. So in order to do that, Chevrolet uses this kind of lifter. You'll notice this plunger here is able to take up the slack so that the rocker arm can push on this lifter, but it does not open the valve. You see the difference. Now, this lifter, the plunger inside of here, will occasionally fail, and that's what's happened to this engine. So the push rod ends up floating inside of here, and you get a pretty severe misfire. Now, that's not really a big deal, but this lifter lives right here and you see what i've had to do to fix it so it can be fixed and i'm more than happy to do it the issue here is that these lifters and this setup doesn't really hold up in real world driving conditions it does work and the lifters that i use come from seal power and they're better than the factory units because seal power had the time to learn from the failure of the factory units and redesign their units that work a lot better. So we hope that in the years to come that this will work because these engines actually do achieve excellent fuel economy on the streets. It's just the reliability of this thing. I hope you've learned something today and I hope this helps you in your future purchases of SUVs and to realize that the average fuel economy on vehicles is actually pretty decent even for the size of these things. So they I hope you have learned something today, and y'all have a good night. This has been Chris at Masingo's Motor Company. Good night.